Okay. Chapter f Act 4, Chapter 3. Kitchen to Crumble. What is that Can you hear it okay? Yeah. Luckily, Ishii's okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's a good thing he's that. not very. That collapsed building. You can use it to it'll take it'll take more than that to slow him down, I think. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what a very tough guy answer. Oh, I just really want to impress you, is all. Impress me by keeping up. The uh. The Johnny Gat of the Bullet Storm <laughs> universe. Have you tried? Have you tried that Johnny Gat DLC for Saints Row Four? No. I want to. I do as well. I predict very good things, and I will be disappointed if they aren't good things. Actually, is that even out yet? I think it is. I haven't heard Get anything out of about hell? it. Yeah. Well, I would think, uh, they oh, make wait, no, a pretty I'm not, big... I stand corrected, it is not out yet. Yeah. Plan for release in December. I mean, not December, in January. <laughs> Another drop box. Oh, it's actually gonna be, actually gonna be, a, it's, a, it's gonna be actually standalone, you don't actually have to own St. Troll 4. Oh, nice. Okay. Wait, is that on console? Yeah, it'll be on, that... uh, actually both both current gen and last gen. The gangs and leave the city in oh, nice. He decided to use the job to test some final echo candidates. I led a division down here a year back. Oh yeah, and your squad did a super okay. top-notch job too. So yeah, here we're hearing a bit about a bit, bit of backstory here. The situation. Only a few of us made it back. Operation Iraqi was a total failure. Yeah, things things went poorly. Okay, here's here's that here's that very thin explanation I told you about. Determine if a drop kit will allow you to resupply. The soldiers who excelled got resupplied. The others didn't. Gonna make Darwin proud. So yeah, that's that's why the game gives you points and that you use to buy um, weapons and such. Oh. It it was some sort of it was like some sort of like like bizarre live fire training exercise against the local the savage natives. Hmm. I'm not sure why why the military was training them specifically to like kick people into cactuses and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, like, like creatively kill people. Well, saves ammo, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. This is it. What is this? What? This is the only way down. If you say so. I hope there's something soft at the bottom of this. That is quite the fall. Yeah. So we are basically on like a like knocked a building that's been like knocked on its side, essentially. Interesting. We're actually approaching the uh, the section of the game that was the de in the demo. Oh. It's actually kind. Of, it's actually kind of unusual that the uh, the demo stage was so far into the game. Hmm. That's. I, I think that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is. This, I'm pretty sure you see this area. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we're into the. Although I don't, I don't know if the uh, enemies are necessarily the same. It's been a long time since I played the demo. I doubt they would be. Yeah, you know, I, I actually think I prefer demos that are just a slice of the main game, as Instead opposed to the beginning. yeah, because those I think are not so great. 
Um, a lot of times they're they're kind of too story heavy and. Well, uh, so yes. Yeah, so other times it just like gives you this idea of what could be in the game, but yeah. you don't actually get uh, to do anything. Did you ever play the Constantine video game? I no. How is it? Based on the, I don't know. I don't know. I only played the demo, but I loved oh, the oh, shit no. out of the demo. It was amazing. Really? Yeah. Wouldn't have expected that. It was really cool. Oh, this this guy just d dangling there. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I wouldn't expect it either. I actually, I think I remember it being better than a lot of people expected, especially for a licensed game. Well, who, who the hell would have expected Constantine, to, the movie, to be a good game? It was an okay movie. Well. I, it's better than you remember it. <laughs> Trust me. Maybe it is. Uh, <laughs> I, although I am a pretty big fan of uh, <coughs> Keanu Reeves. Okay, well, fair enough. <laughs> actually, um, I, I heard the Man of Tai Chi is actually really good. Is that a Reeves movie? Yeah, it's his. Uh, he directs it. I think it's a directorial debut. Never heard of it. Man of Tai Chi. Yeah, it's a kung fu action movie. It's got oh, cool. really good reviews and actually won a bunch of awards overseas. Is he just directed, or is he appearing in it as well? Uh, he's in it. He plays the bad guy, and apparently he he's really good. I'll have to see it. A lot of movies I gotta see. I like this setting. Yeah, this is really cool. I, I mean, you can kind of see what probably part of the reason they chose it for the demo. It's really dramatic and yeah, interesting. And there's lots of like broken bits of steel rebar sticking out of, out for you to knock people into. Yeah. It's really easy for the leash system to accidentally work, and then after that, the person can make it yeah. work on purpose. It also has this. What's that? <laughs> That's pretty good. So you cleared out the elevator by uh, summoning it. You didn't get in it, though. So what happens if you get in the elevator before, or what happens if you don't summon the elevator? I don't know. I think you maybe have to to get it out of the way to proceed. Oh. Otherwise, it would still be further up the shaft and in your way, probably. Yeah, I suppose. Oh yeah, and yeah, here's some electricity. Yeah, so there's a lot of different environmental kills in here. It's just a very striking-looking setting in general. Well, I'm noticing the. Uh, this is the sideways building, which is, uh, <coughs> bless you, they, uh, use the same, uh, setting when you start the game, when you're walking on the side of the building. Oh, yeah, that's right. Although, in that case, it's, 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 it's the sort of view that's sideways. Yeah, it's a warped perspective, and I think that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if that was sort of an intentional callback. Y you going sideways up a regular building, then you going regular up a sideways building. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that, but yeah, that's... Look, luckily, there's still some booze around. Oh, thank God. You know, I would think that's one of the first things that would be scavenged in a resort place. Like, they'd get all the alcohol they could. Probably. Yeah, it definitely creates an uh, interesting dynamic because then uh, you're in this, you're in a slightly familiar environment, but you have to kind of think a little bit more. Now, do your, uh, I'm noticing you're getting 100 points for the voodoo doll mm -hmm. kill. You used to get 50 for those. Is it because you haven't done these in a while? I, I would guess, yeah. Yeah, the uh, the point values they are partly based on like variety and frequency. Huh. 
Oh, I got him on the ceiling. Nice. That 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 is fucking brutal being being impaled on rebar. Yeah. No, I can. Ooh. That's vi that's vicious. It's saw level. Ugh. Or a Tomb Raider, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, here's an here's another environment there. You can just knock guys down. And that has the. Uh... Oh no, he got he got killed by a bullet before he hit. Before oh he no. Him. I was gonna say, and that thing has the uh, fish food, right? That one's. No, vertigo. Vertigo. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's no water down there. They're just really hot. Butthole. <laughs> there we go. Stop shooting him, Trish! You kill stealing Jezebel! <laughs> Jezebel, that's I... not a common one anymore. And it's not even really at all accurate, to be fair. What does it mean? Like, what's the literal definition of a Jezebel? Well, it, it, it was the name of a queen of this queen in the Bible who was reputed for her immorality. Ah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay. And you can see how Trishka is m very much like that because she swears you know, a lot. Yeah. Exactly. Look at all that swearing. Precisely. A lot of lots of religious undertones in Bulletstorm. Yeah, exactly. It's it, it, it's it's kind of the Xeno Gears of first-person shooters. <laughs> Xeno Gears. Have you played Xeno Gears? Uh, you know what? I haven't. You should. It's fantastic. Uh, I keep hearing that. I really should. I don't. How long is it? It's it's pretty lengthy. Yeah. See, that's my problem. I don't it's have. Pretty epic length. I wish I had more more of the time to commit to uh, an RPG, but like right now, I'm sticking mostly to short little games I can kind of knock out. Okay. And then uh, the WWE is handy because it's a pretty mindless game. <laughs> Ugh. You know what? I can't get used to death screams in games. Those kind of. This game has some particularly vicious, brutal sounding death voices. I know. Like I said before, it's a game that really does need to be heard as well as seen. <laughs> Between the screaming and the sounds of guys like you know squishing into things and. It's a visceral experience. Literally more than visceral. more than just a game. <laughs> It's a lifestyle. <laughs> if I try and put a label on a lifestyle. <laughs> Is that, um, I swear that that was from the Street Fighter documentary, right? I don't know. Uh, I've, I mean, I've heard the, I've heard it, I don't know what it's from. I, I'm pretty sure it's from that Street Fighter documentary. <laughs> oh, down you go. Ooh. 